Hello, I see everybody's getting logged into Trig. I wanted to go come on here and <clears throat> make a quick video and go over a couple of things with you. If you're asked to find the tangent of 765 degrees, first I want to make sure that you have your unit circle handy. And <clears throat> I've written on my unit circle some notes here. Sine is y over r, cosine is x over r, and tangent is y over x. So when I'm looking for the tangent of 765 degrees, <clears throat> what I want to know is <clears throat> where am I going to land on here? I'm going to go around 360 degrees, probably going around another 360, and then how much further do I need to know, need to go? Because that's going to be my reference angle. So 765 minus the first trip around the circle is 405. I'm going to go another trip around the circle and leaves me with 45. So after two trips around, my reference angle is 45 degrees. 45 degrees is equal to pi over 4. It also has a location of square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2. So this is your x and this is your y. You're going to use those two values and you know that tangent is y over x. So we're going to have the square root of 2 over 2 over the square root of 2 over 2. Same thing in top and bottom is equal to 1. I also wanted to go over how do you find the sine or the cosine or tangent of a negative angle. Well, a negative angle means that you are leaving 0 and you're going backwards. You're going um, this direction around the circle and it's said to go negative 150 degrees. Well you know if you went all the way here you would have gone negative 180 and I don't need to go quite that far so I'm going to go back 150 degrees I'm going to end up right here. This is my X, this is my Y, my reference angle is 30 and I'm looking for the sign. Well once again Sine is y over r, and at that particular location, my y value is negative 1 half. My r value is equal to 1, so that is negative 1 half. Our third one that we're going to look at today is the tangent of pi. Pi is a quadrantal angle. What I mean by that is that it ends up on one of these axes. If you want the tangent of pi, pi lands right here. This is your x value and this is your y value. Now remember, tangent is y over x. So we're going to have 0 over negative 1. 0 over negative 1 is 0. So my tangent of pi is 0. I hope this has helped you. If you have any more questions, please send me an email. Um, I hope that you continue to do well. It's getting close to time for our first exam, so please do your best. I'm here to answer any questions you have.